to go. Ian McLean is set to tip it up. Dennis Evans wins the tip for the card. Scott Clark has it, and we'll introduce you to all these new cards if you haven't seen them in their two exhibition games. This UNBC program, Jody, with players from all over the place, as we see Bryce Johnson. I think we saw it a little bit in against uh, uh, against Kentucky Wesleyan, but Hat Huntley Hatfield did not start as Trey White. Clark in the lane, gets it up on the basket, and that's all you have to do. Let the big fella go and get it. Dennis Evans with the dunk early. This is right there as Clark puts it up, and uh, Dennis Evans just goes up and dunks it. But uh, again, a couple turnovers. Short knocks in both free throws. But early going here, six for Louisville. Scott Clark gets to the basket. A nice dish to trainer underneath for the finish. Just looking through the stats, he would look like the guy they'd expect to be their leading scorer. Started 19 games for Chicago State last year. Did it 57 threes. Mike James, the miss, follows it. And that's the guy Louisville expects to kind of put a lot more offensive production up this season. And important as we get the three from the corner from Devin Sapp. Felt like in the last game, Louisville obviously shot a, a poor percentage and, and missed some open shots. A drive down the lane there. Lorca Lloyd thought he was going to go over the big fella. Clark all the way to the basket, over to James for the triple in the corner. Can't get it to go, but James with another offensive rebound and the lob to Evan. Short guard about White. Challenge shot goes in. Dennis the menace. He's going to be a menace for a lot of opponents, and he started off pretty strong here with four points, a block, and a rebound. Let's set the uh, not a huge lineup out here for the cards right now, Jody. No, it's not as Mike James goes to work inside, and Louisville again in the paint at that first timeout. Louisville up 10-2 in the paint. Kadarius Smith also on the court for UMBC. Well, with Frank Umu, who we talked about, we see Deion Brown. Marlon Short into the paint. Kicks it over for another three for Devin Sapp, and that is his second triple. Look at Caleb Glenn fighting for the rebound, and then Trainer inside. We're going to get a block. I think he was. Trainer did lower the shoulder, but I'm pretty sure it was in the restricted area. It's going to be, it, right now, it's going to be spot minutes. He and Dennis Evans and Brandon Huntley Hatfield, and he's going to do some things like dunk it, like Dennis Evans, running the floor, and a core four gets a slam. We did not see him in the first exhibition Out game, but, but I think that I think what we're going to see from him is a little bit of everything as uh, Trey White gets the bucket in the paint. Dennis Evans set to check in at the next dead ball for the cards. Banks Jr. just puts his head down and gets all the way to the, I mean, Bryce Johnson all the way to the basket, and you can see. Yeah, there's really no contact. Stay with the Retrievers, and the circus shot on the baseline by Bryce Johnson. He gets that to go. Johnson looking for Huntley Hatfield posting up. I mean, White looking for Huntley Hatfield. Whitefield, White over to James in the corner, drives in, took a pretty big hit. He's able to score in the paint. Double Mike figures. James kind of taking this game over. He has. He's been Louisville's best player so far. Double figures. Taking it to the bucket. Brown in the paint over Huntley. Hatfield gets it to go. and Into the lane again. Johnson reaching for it, but can't come up with it. And Bryce Johnson with the three. We said it earlier. Hit 57 for Chicago State last year. Johnson gets in the paint. Huntley Hatfield never really gathered himself enough to get that up. And then Bryce Johnson beats everybody down the court and scores. And Kenny Payne has seen enough because UMBC. He has got the retrievers up five on Louisville in the first half. Trainer into the lane. Misses, but Evans with the offensive rebound. And looks like he lost it on the way up, but it's still in it. Finger roll and hope it goes in. Dennis Evans three for three now from the field. And somebody lost Deion Brown inside. 12 points to lead the retrievers here. Johnson all the way to the lane and then flips it over his head. Impressive. He has in this first half. Kadarius Smith just drives right by Dennis Evans and lays it up and in, and it's a nine-point game. That's about all it did, and here comes Ace Valentine. And the Retriever's looking to build on this lead. Emu with the pull-up triple, and he drains it. It's a 17-2 run for UMBC to increase this lead to 13. A quarter four on the baseline, gets his own rebound, and puts it up and in. Mike James comes up with a rebound. A core for all by himself, 
James gets it to him, but a quarter four can't finish. He gets his rebound and puts it back up and in. He did. He got caught in between a little bit on that first one, but a good job from a quarter four. Lorca Lloyd into a quarter four, and then up and in for the pen transfer. Six nine, two thirty, big body. Clark, the trainer in the corner for three, and that is the first triple of the night. It's going to be at the defensive end where the cards are going to have to get back in this, and right off the bat, a missed three, and Trey White uh, is able to come up with a loose ball, and Scott Clark pushes it all the way up. It's all the way to the basket, and Marcus Banks Jr. had to do the ole and let him go there because he has three personal fouls, picked up three personal fouls, gets in and up and over Dennis Sevens as he runs the floor. Johnson fakes the three, steps inside the line, and then Dennis Evans with a rejection. Sap baseline on James, and then Brown has the ball knocked away from behind, and here comes Sky Clark. Clark's pushing a little bit. Trey White's going to get all the way to the basket. His reverse up and in. He looks more engaged tonight as he goes down. Sky Clark to drive the basket. A little better than when he forces it. We've seen him force it a little bit. Try to get in the lane, pound his dribble a little bit. How about the turnaround jumper for the big fella? Evans, no, but Huntley has to have the rebound, and he's going to have a chance to complete a three-point play. Bryce Johnson, a little out of control, but does get it up off the glass and misses. Here comes Mike James with the card with a chance to take the lead. James all the way takes the hit and scores. Williams tries to get it to Evans, and Evans couldn't come up with it. Brown down the lane, takes a bump from James, and then he's able to score and put UMBC back in front. He just got kind of caught in between and kind of an awkward look. Oh, Lorca Lloyd off the give and go. Deion Brown again. Ace Valentine to short, who goes baseline on trainer. 13 on the shot clock. Valentine in the corner, and another triple for Devin Sapp. Answered that Louisville run with a run of their own. The Cards have had three turnovers on their last four possessions, and they find themselves down six. Johnson all the way to the basket for two. For Deion Brown. Deion Brown has been the star of the night for them. 13 points. Marlon Short in the paint, and the former Division II player. 13 and a half minutes left to play in the KFC Yum Center. Tyler Johnson to the basket. Didn't even know where to go with it, but kicks it out to J.J. Trainer for three. And then Johnson, the offensive rebound. Sapp got a good look at a three in the corner, and he missed it. Has not done much of that tonight. Mike James all the way to the basket for two. Misses that one, but again, another offensive rebound. A core four is just more active than anybody. How about Curtis Williams? All the way to the basket for his two. Oh my gosh, Kadarius Smith did everything with making it, and then a core four with the rejection. And Bryce Johnson <laughs> and for three. Louisville tracked it down, and a core four blocked it right to the deep to the uh, offensive guy. A core four, the offensive rebound in the basket. Kadarius Smith off that missed dunk, and he says, I'll try the triple, and he hits the three. Kadarius Smith has been looking for his offense lately, and he takes a challenge shot over Dennis Evans, gets the offensive rebound, scores, and draws the foul. Huntley Hatfield tried to lob it to Evans, but the retrievers knock it away, and they get the advantage, and Brown just goes right to the basket. Clark and James, they've both done a good job of getting to the basket. Huntley Hatfield, the lob to Trainer, And when he threw it, Jody, I wasn't sure JJ was going to be able to get it, but he climbed the ladder. Clark and James both can get to the bucket whenever they want Clark's to. trying to figure out a way to attack this 2-3 zone, and they get Huntley Hatfield on the baseline for the short jumper, and he converts. Seven and a half to play. He has 21. The deflection, but right down, and then in the corner to a move for three, and he hit it. And once again for the third time this half. Oh, Clark went up and he had the wide open layup, but it kicks it to Johnson for three. Rebound number eight for Huntley Hatfield. So much more active in this second half for the big fella. Johnson gets into the paint, which is something Kenny Payne's been preaching. James gets into the paint, gets all the way to the basket and scores. The cards look for a defensive stop, and Lorca Lloyd in the paint. And Gets the little jump up to go over Huntley Hatfield. Kind of fall away jumper after taking a bump from Clark. Not a great shot. James all the way to the basket on Lorca Lloyd. Lorca Lloyd with the block there. There was a lot of contact. And another block for Lorca Lloyd. 
Ramu in the corner to Bryce Johnson for three. Tyler Johnson gets it up and scores. Max Lorca Lloyd. See if Louisville can convert here again, attacking the basket. That's when they've been their best. Clark all the way to the basket for the dunk. And here comes that crowd again. If the Cards can get a stop here, and it almost looked like Canarius Smith might have taken an extra step. But, boy, he is aggressive on the offensive end. and He's the one in control with Sky Clark out there. These two guys really running the show well right now for Louisville. And the Retrievers, when they play man-to-man, -man, Louisville has been pretty much getting the basket at will. And Sky Clark does by that. 89-86, a 6-0 run for the Cards. Brown goes baseline, and he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Jim Ferry does not have 15 on the shot clock for the Cards. The UNBC back to man-to-man, -to -man, and when they've gone man-to-man, -man, they cannot stay in front of Clark, but he got to the basket, and they had nobody to pass it to in the corner, and the pull-up three is off the back of the rim. See if the Cards can get the rebound. Kadari Smith goes up for it, short down the lane. Look Brown is going to shoot it, it looks like. Goes by Sky Clark. Clark with the foul and Brown the basket. And you couldn't give up the three and you couldn't foul him either. Another white knuckler down to the last couple seconds. Sky Clark's first free throw is off the back of the run and no good. Which is a little surprising, but Clark does hit the second free throw and the lead is two. Deion Brown has two and 26 points. Brown all the way to the basket, and we're all tied up with 18 seconds left to play, and one final possession for Louisville. But should they choose to hold it? Trey White goes right to the basket. The lob! Oh my goodness! I don't know what happened there! Get holy cow. Trey White rushing things, forcing just things. Just completely out of control, and then he just takes it away from Amu and lobs it up. All right, here we go. The transfer from USC Upstate, a 51% free throw shooter there. That's long. It comes off. The ball bounces out. Louisville comes up with it. And boy, take a breath, Card Nation, because Louisville is 1-0.